Hello friends, welcome to Science for Juniors with me SRK and my lab assistant Binny. And my lab assistant Binny. Binny! Oh, oh, hello friends. Why is your dress keeping you so busy today? Oh professor, I came by bus today and this dress, see, it got completely wrinkled. Ah, it is a cotton dress, that's why. Wear dresses of synthetic fiber like polyester, they generally don't get wrinkled. Synthetic fiber? What is that? Oh, you don't know about synthetic fibers? No, Professor. No problem. Let's learn about synthetic fibers today. Switch on to the virtual world. Let's begin the module on synthetic fibers with an illustration. Diwali is a festival of lights, crackers and sweets. Children are all excited to light candles at night and blow crackers. This little girl is in her best dress. But look, she is wearing a polyester dress. Her mother says a firm no to a polyester dress while the little girl goes out to firecrackers. One should be dressed in cotton dress while playing with firecrackers. Wondering why are cotton dresses preferred over polyester dresses, especially while firing crackers? Let's find out more on polyester fiber in this module on synthetic fibers where we study What are synthetic fibers? and Characteristics of synthetic fibers What is a synthetic fiber made of? Let's consider this situation. Mother and daughter are on a shopping spree. They got to gear up for a camping trip, so they need some clothes, a sleeping bag and a portable tent. Ah, the girl likes a pink dress and a blue dress. But the mother prefers the pink one. You see, the pink dress is made of polyester, which is a synthetic fiber. Blue dress is made of cotton, which is a natural fiber. We see that synthetic fibers are cheaper and more affordable than natural fibers. Let's conduct another test of texture of the dress. When crushed, polyester pink dress does not get wrinkled easily, whereas cotton dress does. Hence, dresses made of synthetic fibers do not get wrinkled easily and are easy to maintain. Hence, the smart mother selects the pink polyester dress for her daughter. The next in shopping list includes a tent and a sleeping bag. Both these are typically made of nylon. But why nylon? This is because nylon is highly durable and strong. Next in the list are some warm woolen clothes. Acrylic is another synthetic fiber that is used to make woolen clothes. Acrylic clothes are durable and cheap. To sum up, polyester, nylon and acrylic are all different types of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are durable, less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain and hence go easy on pocket as well. So Binny, now you understand what is synthetic fiber? Oh yes, and I never knew before that polyester and nylon are synthetic fibers. Science always expands our knowledge, Binny. Hmm, and Professor? Yes? Thanks for the fashion advice. <laughs> Anytime. Next time I go shopping, I will make sure to pick some good dresses of synthetic fiber. I wonder, what is it that this synthetic fiber is made up of that it doesn't even get wrinkled? Oh. I can tell you that. Let's hit the virtual world and see what makes up the synthetic fiber. What is a synthetic fiber made of? A synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together. These small units are actually chemical substances. Depending on the type of chemical substance joining, many types of synthetic fibers are obtained. The various types of synthetic fibers can be polyester, nylon and acrylic. It's time to answer the question raised at the beginning of this module. 
the little girl is asked to wear a cotton dress instead of a polyester dress while playing with crackers. Why? Polyester, being a synthetic fibre, can catch fire very easily and melt. This can be dangerous. Cotton, on the other hand, is a natural fibre and will not catch fire easily. So we must always make sure that we wear cotton clothes while playing with lights and crackers. Let's take an example that connects the theory with the real. Which of the two types of clothes are faster to dry? Is it nylon or cotton? Let's find out. For this, let's take two identical pieces of cloth. One made of nylon and another one made of cotton. Soak the pieces in different mugs containing the same amount of water. Take the pieces out of the containers after 5 minutes and leave them to dry. After about an hour, nylon cloth is completely dry. But cotton cloth is still damp. This is because nylon being a synthetic fibre soaks less water. Cotton being a natural fibre absorbs more water and hence takes long time to dry. Oh wow! It gets easily dried also. Science is really giving me good fashion tips. Haha! <laughs> Binny will be Binny always. A toothbrush. Toothbrushes are made of nylon bristles, which is a synthetic fiber, and that's what? Nylon and toothbrush bristle. But why? Uh, how does? Wait, wait, Binny. Take a breath. Let me explain. Nylon is a very soft material. It's good for your gums. It's softer on your teeth. Also, as nylon bristles are very flexible, so they easily bend and get into those little nooks and crannies of your teeth and flushes out the hidden bacteria. Wow! Nylon is really useful. All the synthetic fibers are useful, Binny. In fact, there is one type of synthetic fiber, Kevlar very similar to nylon, which is used to make bulletproof vests. Kevlar fiber has a lot of cross-linking inside it, which makes it able to withstand any kind of force. And that's why it's used in the bulletproof vests. <gasps> oh my God! Kevlar fiber is so strong! Yes, it is. Anyways, time to learn more about synthetic fiber. Off to virtual world! Let's challenge our brains. What if a rock climber uses ropes made of cotton instead of nylon? The rock climber is sure to have a good tumbling rock fall. Cotton ropes break easily. This is because cotton ropes are not as strong and durable as nylon ropes. So stick to an expert's advice. While on camping, choose tents, sleeping bags and ropes made of nylon exclusively. <laughs> I will remember to carry only nylon ropes whenever I go camping. I am sure you will, Binny, because you don't want a tumbling rock fall. <laughs> this session is turning out very useful for me, particularly for the fashion tips. Fashion? Nylon stockings are one of the biggest symbols of fashion. Oh yes, nylon stockings. I really like them. Would you like to know the history behind them? <laughs> Let's find that out in the Do You Know section. Do you know that the history of nylon stockings dates back to 1930? Researchers at a company named DuPont studied chains of molecules called polymers in an attempt to find a substitute for silk. This is known as a marking of the beginning of a new era in synthetic fibers. Wow! Never thought my nylon stockings will have an 80-year-old history! <laughs> <laughs> well, it has. DuPont touted nylon as being as strong as steel, as fine as a spider's web. They first announced and demonstrated nylon and nylon stockings to the American public at the 1939 New York World's Fair. Wow! When did it go for sale? It was in May 1940 that it first went for sale. And nylon hosiery 
became a huge success instantly. Women lined up at stores across the country to obtain the precious goods. My God, I'm sure they would have been a hard seller. Well, for the first year on the market, DuPont sold 64 million pairs of stockings. Quite an interesting history, I must say. <laughs> Okay, now time for some action replay friends. So let me hit the rewind button and recapture the key learnings of today's session. A synthetic fiber is a man-made fiber. A synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together. Nylon, polyester and acrylic are types of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are durable, less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain. So Binny, how did you find today's session? Well, quite enlightening professor and very very useful, especially the fashion bit. <laughs> ah Binny, will never change. Well, whatever makes you hear better is fine. Anyways, time for me to say goodbye to my dear friends, but I will see you again soon. Till then, keep exploring the wonder world of science. Bye-bye friends! <laughs>